Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to create this wavy thingy calling, waving. Is this button that's growing? You, you can see it here on the screen. Uh, we'll be using Moti for that. In a previous video I was discussing about repeat reverse and how powerful this, this can be in some situations. Well, in this video we will take a look at loop but also repeat reverse and how you can actually create this wavy thingy. If you'd like to become a patron, you'll have access not to only this project in particular, but to more than 50 different animations. I'm doing there a lot of anim cool animations that involved math, reanimated to vanilla animated API, Moti and many, many others. So go ahead to my Patreon page, become a patron and just enjoy the beautiful animations out there. So let's play the intro, jump straight into VS Code and start building this wavy calling indicator, shall we? Alrighty guys, so we are in VS Code here. I've created a project using Expo, but again, everything that I'm going to show you here can be applied to a create react native app without any additional things the functionality itself should work it's either expo or create react native app i have here a view uh, the, the container and inside it i have uh, a circle that contains the phone indicator and i've said in the beginning that we are going to create this wavy thing the whole animation it's going to be based on some circles that are going to grow in size with a stagger or a delay in between animations. So let's assume that we'll have three different circles. We would like to delay the animation based on the index. So first one is going to start. I will start the second one with a 200 milliseconds delay and the third one with 400 milliseconds delay. And you'll see repeat reverse when it comes into play. So let's Let's create those circles. And for that, inside this dot here, I would like to create three circles, why not? So array of three keys, and I'm going to map through them and get the index, and then return here a view that's going to be positioned absolute, style sheet absolute fill object, and then separately, I'm going to style it the same as the dot. Nothing is it's visible here because the dot has the same size. Also, don't forget to pass here a key. A key is going to be index, right? So we have everything in place and we are going to use Moti for animating those circles. So instead of using a plain view, I'm going to use a Moti view. So I'm uh, importing Moti from Motify components and for each particular each particular dot, I like to apply a, an animation, right? So I have to define a from. A from is going to start from an opacity one. So basically all the circles will be visible up to a point where the opacity is going to be zero and the scale is going to be large, right? So I'll start from opacity one, scale one. I like to go to opacity is going to be zero and then the scale is going to be four, let's say. If I hit refresh now, you see everything, everything it's it's animated, right? So it's whoop, everything it's animated. So let's let's modify the transition property here. So we said that we like to apply a timing function. Why not? So timing function. We we'll like to have a duration of two seconds or two thousand milliseconds. I would like to apply a special easing function. Import easing from reanimated easing out with an easing ease. Let's hit save, now refresh, and you'll see this is how it's going to work. Okay, so this is one animation. But I would like to loop through those animations. So I will specify loop through, as we've discussed previously in, 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 in a previous tutorial. So now if I hit refresh, you'll see it's going to grow, but now it's going to shrink. It's going to grow, it's going to shrink. Before moving to this shrinking side, Let's, let's apply a different delay, basically creating a stagger animation. And for that, 
the transition config, you can specify a particular delay. So in our case, the delay is going to be index multiplied with 400, let's say, right? So uh, 400 milliseconds based on the index. So index 0, 0 delay. Index 1, 400 delay. Index 2, 800. So we apply this delay, so we create this wavy thing, right? So everything, it's, it's actually working. By itself, this, this type of animation is really, really nice. I mean, I truly love it. Okay, but, but now that I'm looking at it, I would like to actually not starting from opacity 1, but instead, let's put it 0 0.5. So it's, it's this type of animation, right? Like, like the, the small circle, the, the middle circle, it's actually growing inside. So just to, to make it even more visible, let's apply 0 0.7. So you'll see that this is basically like creating more waves underneath, right? So everything, everything is, is looking pretty nice so far, but we, we cannot apply this effect to this wave thing. So basically when, when the animation has finished, I don't want to go back with an animation. I, I just want to snap directly to zero and then start the animation. And this is where repeat reverse comes into place. Repeat reverse, it's true by default, means that uh, it's going from the initial to the final, from the final to the initial with the same animation. So we just want to snap and we can specify repeat reverse to be false in our example. So when the animation is going to finish, it's going to snap directly to zero and then restart the animation. So if I hit save now and re reload, you'll see that it's wavy. It's not moving backwards, right? So it's not... Uh, uh, animating in reverse, but instead it's just napping directly to the initial value and restarting the animation. And this is quite powerful. I mean, you can see uh, it, it has a completely different out outcome. So it's, it's pretty powerful. It's, it's a homework for you to just play around with it and, and just try to see different use cases for this repeat reverse but what about the performance so let me open up the performance monitor here uh, and you'll see that everything is running at 60 fps because um, yeah this is how reanimated 2 actually performs everything is 60 fps you you don't have to care too much about is this performant or not? Uh, this is really performant and we can actually uh, change it to 10 different way, uh, thingies. So this is uh, going to be even, even more critical for, for the UI, right? So, but as you can see here, everything, everything is running really, really smooth. So let me, let me show you once again. So pr pr pretty much this is running entirely on the UI thread, everything is 60 FPS. It's pretty powerful. Isn't it? It was a short tutorial, but I just wanted to show you how, how easy it is to use Moti along with Repeat Reverse to create such a powerful animation. If you enjoyed it and you're not a subscriber, just, just subscribe to this channel. Also hit the ring bell button to be notified whenever I'm posting something new. If you have any issues, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to help you as much as I can. So, 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 see you in the next one. Bye-bye.